the announcement of our secret Young Patient Advocate awardee. And for this, let's get back to our friends on the wall. Because even if we were very secretive about it, our award recipient is actually among them. This year's awardee has shown incredible dedication to rare diseases and her innovative approach has led to the creation of the world's largest patient organization for keto, keto, ketotic hypoglycemia called Ketotic Hypoglycemia International. She's played a key role as a patient advocate in the European Health Parliament and at the European Medicines Agency. And she actively participated as a young citizen volunteer in the Rare 2030 project. And the award goes to, I think you'll know, Danielle Drachman. Welcome, Danielle. It's such a Thank pleasure you. to have you here with us and congratulations on your award. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for this prestigious award. It's truly an honor to have my work recognized along with so many other outstanding individuals. First, I would like to thank my family, my husband, my kids, the families in Ketotic Hypoglycemia International and the rare disease families all over the world who have made this journey possible for me. You all should be standing beside me right now you deserve this just as much as I do. Next, I must send a big congratulations to my two mentors, Professor Jacob Peterson, Professor Henrik Taibu Christensen. This is not my award. This is one we share with all of the families and all of the medical experts we work together with. This is what all of our work is about, working together as equal stakeholders, scientists, industry partners, and families together. I would like to use this platform to address you, dear listener, and make a few things clear. If you take away just two things from this talk, then let it be this. One, we have seen tremendous progress being made in the past decades. Rare diseases were nearly invisible in health and social systems. And today they are recognized as a public health and human right priority in a large part due to the policy framework in place. And two, there is still much to be done, much to be improved, and we do need a new set of policies to ensure a better future for people living with a rare disease. As a young citizen during the Rare 2030 Foresight Study, I contributed along with hundreds of experts to make a robust set of policy recommendations to achieve that goal. To me, being a part of that project is where everything began. It has opened the doors to advocacy and a hope for a brighter future. As young citizens, we have called for a more inclusive society that recognizes the needs and challenges of the rare disease community, more collaboration beyond borders and professional backgrounds. We have called for the right to a timely diagnosis, access to care, recognition of our rights wherever and whoever we are. But what gives us the right to make such demands? Receiving a rare disease diagnosis, especially for a child, is devastating. It feels like the weight is of the world is on your shoulders. Going through it alone is soul crushing. I speak from my experience, experiences I'd like to forget. I work every day towards a brighter future for my family and all of the families, uh, rare disease families across the world. For that exact reason, I would like to thank everyone for listening to this talk. You, me, and the people around us are all shaping a new generation of advocates living with a rare disease, fostering living conditions that will no longer have to be lived in isolation. You're not alone anymore. And that's the end of my already way too long speech, but I will leave you with one final comment. I hope that institutions, policymakers, and everyone out there are listening to our plea, you have an option and an opportunity to make the world a better place to live, breathe, and die in. On behalf of myself, my beautiful children, and the 300 million people living with a rare disease worldwide, with conditions too depressing to make for a good speech, I leave you with this. It's on you. You have the resources. You have the means. Make some good of it please. Thank you.